Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for the Sun, Moon and Rising Librans. This is the third week of July and the week is beginning from the 17th of the month, 17th of July until the 23rd of July. So welcome to each and every person. I want to say thank you so much for supporting my channel and really, really, really the positive feedbacks and everything that is happening for me I'm so grateful for to each and every person um, my journey is here to support and help you guys and I will do it in any way I can and this was a positive way to help you guys um, please remember to listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign because it's very good when we ever we listen to our Sun Moon and Rising sign we will receive more energies that is going to happen in the week and it's going to support us in a lot of wonderful ways and what is so good because you guys haven't been vibrating in your own energy vibration for a time it is the week of uh, the um, balancing of the scales so this is your week you do you you liberals whatever is happening for you liberals in this week it's going to be wonderful it's going to be powerful you're going to find inner strength it's going to be extremely powerful it's going to be an extremely wonderful week as we look to see what is going to be your focus your focus wonderful the ten of Pentacles Wow Wow. Wow. The Ten of Pentacles. So whenever your focus is the Ten of Pentacles, this can be saying to a lot of people out there, go and look. If you have family members that die and that sort of a thing, sometimes you're left money and not really knowing. Insurance payoff is could be another thing. A lot of things like this. It's as if um, money that you weren't expected is going to come in. To you in this week so the ten of Pentacles is a really wonderful focus that you have in this week and whenever the focus is showing up the focus is saying that you guys need to or some of you will be blessed with whatever is happening in this week and the ten of Pentacles is a positive positive focus for people as I said your numbers you're gonna the, the, the energy and it's 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 a positive energy and why is because um, the energy here that I have for you is a six of Pentacles I have been seeing the six of Pentacles six of Pentacles six of Pentacles is gift money the six of Pentacles can be money six of Pentacles can be gift some people will be giving out some people will be receiving but it's small quantity but with the ten of Pentacles this is saying that maybe somebody um, I've died and left you money that sort of a thing or an insurance payout or um, you know you're going to buy something um, you're going to receive money and you're going to buy something a very high-end article a car you know a truck a house <laughs> a wash machine something for your house or that sort of thing it can be people who are um, who have been um, saving and that sort of a thing so that is going to happen number six is going to be your energy vibration six and nine because I see six and nine is going to be your energy vibration so 69 and 96 is going to be your energy vibration strength in a strength is going to be one of the thing we have the king of cups and the king of sword which is the sort of an energy vibration which is happening here so Thursday and Friday you're going to some people are going to have the effect of the king of swords and some people are going to have the effect of the queen the king of cups so you yourself on Friday is going to have a situation on Friday art break is in reverse on Saturday the tower blows up whatever is happening there on Saturday something is going to happen a heartbreak a tower is going to blow up a cleansing needs to happen between you and someone else so who will that person be let's see who is here it can be someone who is uh, um, uh, a Capricorn uh, Virgo or a Taurus which the situation is going to happen but let's let's look at your reading your enemies um, the Queen of Cups whoever this Queen of Cups is if you are connected with this Queen of Cups or, or 
be aware of someone that you're going to meet who is the energy vibration of the Queen of Cups. This person, this woman, she's not really, it's not psychic, it's that she works in the psychic or the negative energy. You know, she she's not really honest with certain aspects and that is governing your reading. So be aware if you come in contact because you're, um, you are an air person. This person is a water person. It's not a match, you people. So be aware of who this person is, because it's not going to be a match. Okay, let's go. Monday, we have the energy vibration of the Six of Pentacles. I did tell you guys, the Six of Pentacles, and then you have the Ten of Pentacles. This is wonderful, which is your focus. So the Six of Pentacles, what is the Six of Pentacles? Who is the Six of Pentacles? The Six of Pentacles is always generosity. It's generosity that is coming in. The universe is always sending people with little things, little gifts, little small things, and this is what is happening. There is going to be a huge transformation, and this transformation is going going to bring you the ten of pentacles so let's say your business was dribbling and dribbling and now the universe is going to send you woof, a huge amount of money that will be coming in remember when these things happen thank the universe for the financial abundance that they're sending to you and uh, you know ask them to let your blessing falls it's always good to do that okay we just need to learn relearn read program ourselves about this thing on tuesday what we have the king of cups the king of cups is in is is, is here whatever is happening the king of cups whoever this king of cups was that tried to steal something from you or uh, yes it's it's not he's not gonna get away with it okay Normally, this I'm feeling a cancer person. It can be a cancer person or a scorpion person. Whoever this person with a cancer or a scorpion who tried to steal something from you, they're not going to get away with it. Okay, whoever you are, because you're vibrating in your own week. And what this is doing is that the universe is actually blessing you guys. When you're vibrating in your own energy vibration week, is that it's a blessing, it's a week of blessing. The Ten of Pentacles, I can't stop stressing this for you guys. In the middle of the week, you meet, I, you know, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. You meet either the King and the Queen of Pentacles. Some people will meet them on the um, Tuesday. Some people will meet them on Wednesday. This woman is not to be trusted. This woman is working with our negative energies. This woman is not really positive. Be aware of who is this person. Um, understand who is this person. Try to figure out, you know, she is going to be um, somebody who is working on the negative aspect. So be aware of that. Okay. As we move forward, we have the energy vibration of the Nine of Cups. Your wishes and dreams are coming out. So for you guys, whoever you are, and you, um, you're you trying to connect with other people, this is going to be wonderful. Be aware of who this person is, the sort of a situation, what is happening. So this is going to be good because your um, wishes and dreams are coming out. And this is just going to be profoundly powerful. And the King of Cups is here. So Roy the Bach is here and he is going to help you to bring out um, your wishes and dreams on Friday we have the energy vibration of the three of cups whatsoever is happening um, is a celebration and um, you especially the men are going to be really celebrating on Fridays because maybe you have found someone who you're connecting with maybe this is a time that you're trying to find wonderful positive energies of people who you're connecting with and these sort of energies are going to help you to really forward and move yourself to something which is wonderful and something which is very positive so you know this is going to be extremely good it doesn't really matter where and what you do, you're going to see that positive new energies are coming in. And with these positive new energies, wherever you are, you're going to be connecting with um, and, 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 and having really a celebration because you're feeling good with someone. The tower comes in on Saturday. So whoever you are, the tower is here. Um, on Saturday, there's going, there was an art break, or there is an art break on Saturday. The tower comes in, there's art break uh, um, on Saturday. So whoever you are, the art break could be coming from someone who is of the, you know, um, the, you know, it, it, that this art break is something 
challenging coming in yeah that's a much better word <laughs> something challenging is coming in and you need to you know deal with that on Sunday we have the two of swords which is a wonderful energy you're trying to figure out stuff you're trying to look for look at stuff money is coming in another gift of money is going to come in to you guys so whatsoever is happening I'm if some people didn't get it on Monday some people are going to get it on Sunday or hear about it on Sunday because money will be coming into you so this is going to be wonderful this is going to be a positive situation a positive endeavor and that sort of a situation so you're going to see that positive energies are coming up so you have no worries okay we're going to break down your week and look at your week because we have the king of pentacles so for the people who are having their parents who is a cancer a pisces or a scorpion there is a situation that is happening there needs to be an healing with your with your mother um, because some people you know your mom can be carrying energy vibration it, you know it can affect either it. your parents do not have to be working on a positive side because most of the time people find that their parents is you know working on the negative side whatsoever is happening and this sort of a thing you're seeing that certain aspect and certain things that are happening so we have the transformation with the Pentacles what is happening is this transformation with the Pentacles is that sort of a thing that the tower energy whatever is happening with the king of pentacles uh, and the king of pen no the king of cups and he was trying to do something it's not going to happen okay the energy of the queen the the, the pentacle the the energy of money with it's going to come in because it's as if this earth sign person is going to help you with something and whatever negative thing that was there with someone who is of the the, the, the Pisces the cancer or um, the um, Scorpio it's going to break there is going to be a situation there's going to be definitely a definitely a situation because some people are going to realize that these Pisces cancer or Scorpion people have been doing something uh, and, and trying to get away with it but it's not going to happen so the tower is going to blow up so there's going to be a transformation of something and there's going to be a death ending of something and a transformation because the tower is going to blow up that means whatsoever that this um king of cups was trying to do it's not going to happen as we look forward we're seeing the energy vibration of the cups the nine of cups the nine of cups is a very positive energy because it's your wishes and dreams are going to come true whoever is working together with a queen a king of cups he is going to be good he's going to be supportive whether a queen of cups or the king of cups depends in on the last section of the week because you have the energy of the two of swords you're seeing um well you're really connecting with other people you're really coming together you're really making something and the water sign people are really here because you're going to have a celebration so whatsoever is happening with this king of cups which is a dream of this person who is supporting you is coming through and they're going to bring you also they're going to make something big for you and bring you to also a place where it's going to be positive for you so you know this is positive whatever way you look at it whether you're you're being affected by the the only thing that is happening is this queen of pentacles she is working negative forces she's working with negativity behind the scene you have to be aware of her keep her out of the brute ask for divine protection against this woman because it's you know it's going to affect some people it's going to affect some people as we look at love and um, there's going to be an art break for someone who is you are with you like someone who is a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. There's going to be an art break. Um, and the art break is going to come up because this person has been also seen someone else and she's going to choose for that person. And you're going to feel art broken over it because, you know, and it's not as if she didn't say it. Um, it's as if you gave out mixed signal to her. You gave out mixed signal. You constantly give in this woman mixed signal. And then she just decided, you know, or this man. So it can be a woman or a man. 
And then she decided, you know, I understand, you know, we are going to be friends, but I'm moving on. I want to have a relationship or that sort of a thing. And she's thinking, or he is thinking, so it can be a man or a woman. And this is going to affect just like once you're age 18 to 55 or so, this is going to um, affect you because whatever is happening, you're going to be heartbroken. Um, with this woman because it's as if you you have been given her a signal you're you, you are feeling heartbroken but the situation is that you have been given her a signal she has been sitting down there waiting on you and you you weren't aware you you were not sure what you want so you gave her a signal and what happened now is that she's saying you know I'm choosing for this man because I know where I am with him so I'm, I'm choosing that as you know I look further with love you're gonna connect uh, you know you're really going to connect with someone a young and and this can be an older person that you're going to connect with a young person who is a cancer a Pisces or a scorpion so you're going to connect with that person and this other man that you, you know, you, you were with someone who you really care about, but you gave that person missed signal. Is this relationship going to be wonderful? It's, it's to look, you know, you're seeing, you know, it's as if this person is close to you, but yet still, you're still in love with the, um, the, 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 the the Capricorn, the Virgo, or the Taurus person. It's as if you're you're going in this relationship with this water sign person, but yet still you're still in love with that woman. And it's all your fault because she really waited, but you gave her so much mixed signal. And what you Librans are supposed to understand is that when you're um, connecting with earth sign people, do not give them mixed signal because the more you give them mixed signal, it's as if they are going to think, okay, I'm waiting, but you know, at some stage I want to move on. And this is what exactly happened. You're connecting with this young person, this princess, and, and, and you know, it's a, a Pisces or a Cancer. I'm seeing Pisces and Scorpion. You're connecting with this person. You're trying to make the best of it, but your heart is still on the earth sign person whoever this woman is she has a huge and a great effect on you and your heart your heart is with the heart sign person and this can be a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn that is where your heart is you want this person your heart is has always been with this person but is it that you you know it's as if you're in conflicts with yourself thinking what if we try to become a you know a, a, you know together and it never works you know what is going to happen then i lose my best friend forever and and and, and you know nothing you can't always think about things you need to ask and you need to go for it you need to try it and then you know when you see it works or it doesn't work this doesn't mean that your friendship is going to end but at least you tried it and you realize that okay it doesn't work but you left her hanging and now she's moving away but yet still your heart is with her so you're in a new relationship now but yet still it's it's not where your heart is so be aware of what is happening okay I gotta move on because I'm so much time on this love thing so for you guys, it's going to be a romantic week. It's going to be extremely romantic week. It's all about love. And you have to find inner strength to deal with certain things because um, a lot of people seem to have an affair that is going to affect. But anyway, there is this cancer woman that you have to be aware of. If you're having a situation with your father, your mother, you need to deal with the situation because it's going to have an effect in your life. So bring balance to whatsoever is happening. And for the people who who is in love with this earth sign person just let her know for God's sake so that she doesn't do something wrong and you doesn't do something wrong and you guys can connect what the hell life is too short okay let's see what the Oracle the conscious spirit oracles have for you Librans. Wow root chakra 
root chakra what is happening with your financial situation because you have the ten of pentacles but anyway you would need to heal your root chakra i have everything i need to survive and grow on a physical plane i have everything that i need to survive and grow on a physical plane so this is wonderful your root chakra i have everything i need to survive and grow on a physical plane so this is good so whatever is happening in your life you need to understand that you need to heal your base chakra your base chakra is behind your back here and you need to send out to the universe call upon archangel gabriel supervisor of tom the energy master of fire fire salamander and fire dragons to touch open and activate your root chakra because that is where you find the energy and the passion to go out and find that very nice job or find you know that work that you're looking for so you need to heal your root chakra in this week okay you liberals okay let's go forward and let's see what the wisdom of the oracle have for you liberals in this week and we have oh my god cooperation this is good corporations you guys co-create co-create I love when co-create comes up because spirit is saying to you I'm here let's co-create something your guides and angels are saying I'm here it's like when co-create comes up it's like as if your spirit guides are in the background and they're saying let's co-create with you and they go creative art and inspiration fruitation and manifestation you may not consider yourself as a creative person but in fact you are creating your own reality every moment every minute of the day via your thoughts again I'm reading that for you guys you may not consider yourself a creative person but in fact you are creating your realities every moment of every day via your thoughts feelings belief intention and action yet you must consider that you do so in partnership with spirit and this is what i'm always saying to people whatever you send out there whatever you're sending out whatever you're trying to connect with the consciousness the source whatever name you call the higher power you are a spark of the intelligence that works through you nudging you with the inspiration through and the intuitive guidance you are a pain of brush that co-creates a beautiful unique expression of your individuality and that's so true um, you are a product of divine inspiration and now you are aligned with it in a creative miraculous way when you view your life as art and know you co-create it it only beautifies and bring grace and results prepare to be amazed prepare to be amazed and I'm so you know it doesn't really matter what happened in your life people honestly honestly um, things bad things and it's not bad things this is a lesson that we need to learn because we attract these things so that we can learn lessons in our life you need to understand that uh, there's always a reason for it so the people who are going to be feeling broken-hearted because they move on to someone else but they're still in love with someone else and that sort of a thing don't worry because you you learn a lesson your lesson was that you have somebody on and on for a very long time and this person decided to move and do something else so you create you co-create that yourself and what we all need to do is that if you believe that wonderful beautiful things are going to happen positive things is going to come in your life yes you're going to make it it's going to happen for you so it doesn't really matter what you do and how you look at things these things are going to work out for you and you have to understand this sort of a thing so here we are and this is going to be a wonderful wonderful week I want to say thank you for being here please like shares and thumbs up and um, namaste until next week